Hi, my name is Lionel Tsai. I'm a developer on the NASA Warwin project. If you've never heard of NASA Warwin, it's basically an open source Google Earth. Like a lot of folks, I've been looking at the neat things that Johnny Lee's been doing with his Wiimote. So over the weekend, I've added some Wiimote support to NASA Warwin. I'll give a quick demo of what we added. It's basically Johnny's desktop VR. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sensor bar, put it underneath the camera, and show you what it looks like uh, if you're using it. Okay, here we have NASA Woven. Right below the screen is the Wiimote. And as you can see, as I move around the screen, the globe changes a little bit. It's a little bit hard to see at this range, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Alright, here we are Mount St. Helens. And now as I change the camera, it's a lot easier to see things shift a little bit more. In particular you can see the horizon move up and down as I move the camera up and down. And side to side is a little bit harder but you can see the positions of the mountains change a little bit. Now this is sort of nice but uh, the reason why I add it is because it's, it's very useful in providing these visual cues for depth when you're looking at things in relationship to the terrain. I'll give you a quick example here where we're looking at the position of the aircraft and the other vehicles in relationship to the underlying terrain. And these little cues as you move your head around really gives you a, a lot more feeling of that depth and how they all sit in relationship to each other. And you can see that even more clearly as we zoom in closer and you can see the terrain obscuring objects for us like that tank in the center of the screen. And we can move around a little bit more and see the position shift. Alright, quick little demo. Um, all the code is now in the uh, Whirlwind repository. So if you like, you can check it out in SourceForge. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.